Hey everyone, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to take a photo in photo mode. I'm guessing this is what a lot of you might have questions on if you're first using it. So you press start, or you, sorry, you press options on your PS4 controller, you go to photo mode, and now let's say, woohoo, you adjusted your photo to what you wanted, right? Let's say this is the image I want. And now, if you were like me when you first use this, you're like, how do I take a picture? You're scrolling through all the menus, you're trying to you know, you're going to sticker mode, you're trying to figure out how to take a picture. Well, the way you take a picture is you're not taking a picture in game through the photo mode and the photos are not saved to your game. What's, what you do is you hide the UI by pressing triangle, alright? You get the picture you want, let's say this is the image, it's, you know. And you press share on your PS4 controller, okay? And you press triangle to save the screenshot and the screenshot will be saved to your PS4's hard drive not the in-game like save memory it'll be a separate screenshot okay so hopefully that clears up any confusion you had with taking photos in photo mode and you can access those photos you take by going to your startup menu when you first start up the PS4 you know you have that main menu go to your settings you go to your storage and you know you go to your images and you search for the ones you have for PS4 and you should find your screenshot there and also another cool thing you can do with those screenshots is again you go to your settings you go to themes you scroll down to custom themes it'll ask you to choose a screenshot that you have you go ahead and choose the one you made that you really like and now it'll be your background for your main menu screen for the PS4 which is really cool so hopefully that clears up probably a majority of the reason why you guys would want to click on this video so if, if that's all you need to know you know there it is you use you take pictures using your PS4 for those that want a little more tutorial on the actual features in photo mode, you know, I'll start that right now, alright? So, everyone else just go ahead and click off. Leave a like, please, if you enjoy it or if it helps you out. Uh, but for those that want to know more about the different features, I'll go ahead and explain them now. Alright, so the first screen you got camera type, you got free orbit and selfie. All right, pretty self-explanatory, but free mode. Use the left stick to move forward, left, right the same plane and then use the right stick to move in the Z direction alright so let's say left stick is the X direction and the Z direction the right stick would just be I don't want to be too confusing but you just use the left and right sticks to to move around Spider-Man in the way you want and alright when let's say you want to make a little more adjustments if you go orbit mode, it'll keep Spider-Man a set distance away from the camera and, and that's where you can use the right stick to angle the camera however way you want your picture to be. And of course, you know, hero visibility, you just turn it off, you want Spider-Man off. Okay, and then finally you got selfie mode where you can use the left stick to sort of rotate Spider-Man 180 degrees either way and you can rotate them up and down and finally you got tilt which if you move it all the way to the right to 100 he goes upside down if you move it to 0 he'll go upside down as well in the other direction and 50 he'll be right in the center no tilt okay so that's the first photo mode camera all right that's the first title screen you scroll through the screens using R1 L1 and the next screen will be the lens so let me go back to orbit mode so with the lens, FOV is just, you can micromanage the exact distance you want from Spider-Man. And now focus and aperture sort of work together. So the more you make the aperture, the more blurry everything becomes. So at 100, it's like everything's super blurry. But if you mess with the focus distance, you see Spider-Man's not blurry anymore. And then the as you'll see like the features closest to Spider-Man will keep getting more clear as you increase your focus distance makes sense right it's your focus distance alright and of course 
I mean, I don't really mess with it too much, but you could probably make some cool stuff out of that. Especially like action scenes where the backgrounds are sort of out of focus and the stuff you really want is in focus. That'll be really cool. All right, next screen is the filters and frames. So you got all these filters, a bunch of different filters you can play with. And then the blend is, if you go to zero, you're essentially getting back to your original picture. And if you're at 100, it's like the filter is at like max intensity. All right, so that's essentially, it's like the intensity of your filter. Zero is very little and 100 is a lot. So you can play around with that. And then frame selection, you got all these cool different frames you can put around Spider-Man. I've seen some people do some creative stuff like make comic book strip type stuff. So if you're really creative, you know, you could probably make your own like little comic book. That'd be pretty cool. And this we could go over later. Alright, so Vinay Intensity, I think it's pronounced Vinay, and Center Clear. Right, so the lower, so at 100, everything's clear. But the closer down to zero you go, these two complement each other, right? So the higher this is, the darker your edges are. But the lower this is, the more of the screen is darker. You see that? It gets, it gets more and more darker towards the center, but if you increase it, this going outwards from the center, it gets lighter and lighter until you get to 100. All right, so that's how you play around with those two. And then film grain size and strength, I don't really mess with it too much. It's, I think it's, yeah, I don't, I don't, if you guys can help me with those two, I don't really know. Like I know it kind of messes with grain, the graininess of the photo as you adjust it, but I haven't seen too much of a difference with it. Maybe you guys could help me out in the comments. Alright, and this last is only related to selfie mode, so let's go ahead and put Spider-Man in selfie. You got all these different eye changes he can do, and then the hunt, the eye intensity is just, so let's say on squint, 100 is the most he could squint his eyes, and then 0 would be back to default mode, which would be this. All right. Same as surprise, his eyes are super open, 100 would be the most open he can make it, and 0 is back to default. And then selfie light, you, I can't show it to you now because it's daytime, but you know, it's the light of the phone, so it's probably more useful in nighttime. Alright, so that's all the main menu. Now finally just... Uh, okay, just sticker mode, you press square. It's a really neat feature, you go ahead, scroll through this, the different stickers using R1 and L1, you find some you like, I don't know, this looks really stupid, but so you put that there, you get put up to 10 stickers, and you could adjust the size of the stickers using R2 and L2, unfortunately you cannot rotate the stickers in the clockwise direction, which I really wish they could add, especially when it comes to these comic book sort of letterings, I wish you could kind of rotate them sort of in a clockwise, counterclockwise direction. Uh, but you can't do that yet, so hopefully they add that feature. But anyways, that's sticker mode. Let's say you go back to photo mode, and let's say you have a frame like this. If you choose below stickers, then your frame will be underneath the stickers, and the stickers will show. If you do above stickers, of course the stickers will be beneath the layer of the frame. Alright, it's so pretty self-explanatory there. And there's a little way of seeing that right there. Alright. And then finally you hide the UI, just triangle, once you want to take your picture. Well, that pretty much explains most of photo mode. Again, the graininess. Uh, maybe someone can help me out. I'll, I'll be sure to pin your comment. But other than that, that's pretty much everything you need to know. Go out there, make your cool creative images, be sure to share it. I'm sure you guys will come up with some cool stuff. And keep playing that Spider-Man, it's a really fun game. And if you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to like, uh, subscribe if you really care to. And yeah, other than that, have a good day. And I hope keep enjoying Spider-Man. Peace out.